Hello everybody, welcome back to Atlanta Race 2, the most of the NASCAR Heat 2 Championship season. And I am running the Haas scheme that was used in this race by Clint Boyer, because, of course. And so, we're going to see how much of a fun time we can actually have at this race. Because, I love this track, Atlanta. I've always loved Atlanta as a track. It's, one, it's been one of my favorite NASCAR circuit. One of my favorite tracks on NASCAR circuit ever since I was a little kid. And I was kind of sad when they changed it to a two race thing where it had not only a beginning season race but it and also a chase race and then they just said it was a one race thing and I got a little sad when that ha happened but so I mean at least we still have Atlanta one of the old more older tracks but it is still very very good and a very nice track and I like racing at I would in this game and in every other NASCAR game I really loved racing at this track <clears throat> and so here we go and I will uh if this thing will get out of the way okay not practicing I'm gonna qualify alrighty Ooh. oh that's sleek oh that is sleek though personally I prefer the one that he started using to prefer the uh, retro one where the black is all where the black is where the red where the black is <coughs> on the front and everything I prefer that one to this one but still this is a hot scheme and then Lionel put it in the, in the CTC mold, which for the die cast, which wasn't necessarily a great thing as I smacked the outside wall like a moron. But still, this is a nice enough, this is, it was a nice enough die cast anyway. I mean, it was still, I mean, the paint and stuff looked, still looks really good, but I mean, just too much plastic. And I know the cars, cars outside are kind of plastic, but I mean, come on, it shouldn't feel like it has plastic on the outside of it we're going 100 now we're going 170 but we were going almost 200 miles per hour and here we come out of turns three and four in this Haas machinery in 34th feck but we got a red 14 car hopefully we can try to relive the days of office depot number 14 that Tony had at the beginning of his uh, tenure at Stuart Haas. Maybe we can try to replicate that success here in this really nice scheme. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, how many? We got 14 laps of fuel and 10 laps in the stage. So we will be able to make it on fuel. And damn, we got a good run through the middle. Ne usually I never get a great run in the middle like that. We got ourselves a 30 second already. Now, whoa, oh, whoa, yeah, and we got a lot of awesome alternate schemes in play here today. So we got ourselves in the 30th, and whoa, slid up a little bit in the Chris Busher and his teammate AJ Allmendinger, but we managed to get around that. Yeah, we're actually, we're actually moving up the track now, which is something you can do really well in real life on Atlanta, is move up the, oh, shit, we already got a caution. Damn. Uh-oh. Okay, and this one wasn't even caused by me, so that's pretty based. <laughs> well, not based, but I mean... Hey, at least I didn't cause a caution. <laughs> so here we go. We're going again. But yeah, man, I love seeing all these alternate paint schemes to the regular ones that people normally run. Like the, uh... <clears throat> Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s run his Sunny D scheme. And Danica Patrick, the, the old ex... <laughs> yeah, oh no! I hit the apron, fuck. Damn it. Oh shit, no, 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 ah! Damn, I busted the car up hard. Fuck. <laughs> well, that was, com that was complete idiocy on my part. I was musing about how Stenhouse and Danica used to be an item and they were racing together and now she's with Aaron Rodgers and then all of a sudden whoop I hit the apron because I wasn't paying attention okay so that's two cautions already in the first stage that was only originally supposed to last 10 laps now we have three laps in the stage I'm gonna go on the outside of Jeffra Earnhardt who does not have a ride anymore it seems in the cup series now I mean he lost it at the beginning lost it before the beginning of the season got one 
And I don't think he's got one anymore, which is pretty sad, man. Let me rip Jeffrey Earnhardt. Okay. Gonna use that outside line to our advantage. And ah! Damn it, Corey LaJoy. Or whatever his name was. Fuck. Damn it. Okay. Two cautions caused by me. Denny Hamlin wins the stage. Fuck. God, I feel like such a moron. And it took us only five minutes to get through that stage, mostly because of fucking cautions. <coughs> God damn. Okay. We're gonna go to the bottom, try to get ourselves a little draft with Jeffrey Earnhardt so we can get ourselves a good run through the corner. And we got ourselves one. Going to run Sadler, who got a really good finish at the Daytona 500. Because, I mean, I feel really good for him. If this were, if I were doing the career mode race with him, that would have given me a lot of money. But, of course, you don't get career mode stuffs in this game. It will end the championship stuff. You don't get money. Though it would be pretty cool if you could. So, here we go. Now we're... Yeah, I was Corey Lidgeway. Right? Ah, I did it again. Hit the fucking apron. Ah, yeah, so that was Corey Lidgeway who I got into earlier. Alright, now I gotta find a way to get back up to the front. How many laps got on the stage? Ten? Okay, everybody else is gonna have to pit sometime. That or they're gonna be really stretching it to the wire when we get to the end of this stage. Eh. Dang it. Try not to hit the wall, but I keep getting too close. Okay. Come on. We gotta we gotta resurrect the spirit of Tony Stewart. We gotta be we gotta be the champions here. Can't screw up. Can't screw up now. We gotta take the red 14. Put it in victory lane once again. We gotta do it, man. Do it for Tony. Alright, so here we go on the outside to Benedetto. Actually you're running through the middle of the corner surprisingly well. Like we did on the race like we did at the start of the race. And damn. Got a lot of room to move maneuver here as the field's starting to spread out again. So that's good. Yep, the Pan Danica and Ricky still within ice shot uh, eyesight, so that's good. But yeah. I feel really sorry for Ricky Stenhouse. He got screwed up. By Danica. Been in a relationship with Danica since he started his Cup Series career in 2013. Same time she did. And then dumps him almost immediately after she retires. <laughs> Though she technically retired. At, she technically retired from full-time racing at the end of after Homestead. But she did run at the Daytona 500 this year. So, But yeah, Ricky got fucked. <laughs> I feel sorry for the kid. But okay, going to the outside of Almarola and Castle, getting to the highest spots we've been in all day. 24th. Trying not to kill the front row cars as we go around Castle and Reagan. We got ourselves a good, decent run up the middle, and then we shoot a little high. Side by side with David Reagan, and we finally pull away from him and clear him. So we have four laps to go in the stage. Let's see if we can get some stage points. Kind of doubt it, as there's Austin Dillon, Trevor Bain, and I think Dale Earnhardt Jr. is right there. Yep, in that little nationwide car. But he is hanging pretty damn low. Something tells me he's going to want to pit in a little bit. Since I have way fresher tires than everybody else, I'm moving up the field pretty steadily. <clears throat> so hopefully I can get some stage points. And damn it. Austin, get out the way. I know you want to impress uh, Dale by being in the three car and almost passing him, but come on. Don't block me. Like, don't don't screw me up. Okay, there we go. Got ourselves in the 19th, and there's Eric Jones, that serious XM car. I really like that scheme. I'm really glad he brought it back with the 20 car at California, even though that was technically just... that was. That was Matt Kenseth's scheme from last year. They had to reuse it. But still, I liked his uh, Sirius XM scheme. Okay, I think we got 
two laps left. Two laps left in the stage. We ain't gonna get any stage points, but we are moving up. And Eric tried to block, but we gonna go to the inside. And go to the inside of Blaney. And there's Kurt Busch, our teammate and the person who beat us in the last race. Kurt Busch is in 15th. Whoa. Jones wasn't too happy with me going under him like that, so he gave me a little shove into Bane. And people are getting all kinds of loose. Matt Kenseth, what the hell? Okay, as we finally get around Kurt, and there's a bunch of people hanging low, slowing way the fuck down. But they are not going to pit. How much want to bet? How much want to bet? Ah, shit. Went a little too high. Okay, and we're going to get 15th in stage 2. As people are getting loose, and I got loose. Okay. Alright, everybody else is going to need four tires. I'm probably, I'm just going to get four, too. I'm not going to repeat my mistake at Daytona. Alright, 15th. Depending on how long the stage is, I might actually get myself my first win at Atlanta. <clears throat> Again. Because, I mean, I got my first win in NASCAR Heat 2 at Atlanta. Though it was in the truck series, not the cup series. But, okay, here we go. 18 laps to go. Everybody's going to have to pit with four laps in the tank. And wow, the bottom line's got a really good run there. <clears throat> so, man, three live Jamie. Jamie McMurray and the 19 of Daniel Suarez. We finally get around him. There's Chase Elliott. Ah. Keep shooting just a little bit too high. But there we go. Top 10 for the first time all our haste. Oh, man, we're going to make it four wide. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was a mistake. Oh, that was a mistake. Truex, Truex played it smart. But, damn, did Keselowski run up on me. Though that could have been my fault. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, now I gotta go back to the back. Shit. Oh, damn. Well, at least I'm not alone. Denny's back here, but damn, I got screwed up there. That was not what I was wanting. I was at the top ten. I was going good. I was nearly going to get into the top five, and then... Whoosh! <coughs> but okay, we're going bottom... Joey Gase won't get out of the way. But of course he can't. Okay. Have not gotten a spot yet. Okay. Woo! Woo! Gotta be careful. Going to the inside, Tim Hill. Trying to push Gase ahead, but everybody's acting like they're pretty slow. Whoa! Uh oh The screen was kind of lagging. That usually means there's a caution about to come out. So I don't know what that was about. Got into Denny there a little bit. <clears throat> All right, we can stay with Denny. I think we'll be okay. At least stay in front of Denny. Because it seems like he's running the same strategy as us. Even though mine wasn't necessarily our strategy. It was I needed to repair my car. And Denny's just going way underneath there to get up on Jeffrey Earnhardt. But Earnhardt's a little slow. But Joy got a little loose there. We hit 12 to go in the race. And I have 12 laps a fuel left, so there we go. And man, Cole Wiz, and t he's actually hanging kind of high for a car like his in the top, hit the top 25, so that's pretty cool. But he's about to lose it to Danica and Denny, or just Denny. And there's Michael McDowell, he ran a little bit on the apron, but he seems to be doing okay. So it's just me and Denny right now that we gotta worry about since everybody else is definitely gonna have to come to pit road. Ah, I just shot it too high. I think Denny's just got way too fast a car. Woo, barely cut it through. We did a Jamie McMurray, just barely got ourselves in a hole. Go around Almorola and Newman, put ourselves back in 24th and 23rd now. 10 laps to go. Man, what happened to Kurt? He's all the way in 21st. That ain't good. Something must be wrong with him. Okay. But yeah, that Monster Energy scheme. It's a shame they won't make those in 164. Damn you, Monster Energy! 
mean, come on, man. I bet a bunch of kids come to their uh, Monster Energy motocross shows, and they don't have any problems with them, with kids holding on to Monster Energy stuff. At least merchandise, but I mean, nope. Putting it on 164 diecast or shit? Nope. Now that's 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 pretty gay. But okay, we got ourselves in the 18th again. So if we don't win, we're at least going to be in a much better position than we were earlier. All right. Ah, just way too high. Stenhouse, he's running decent. I mean, he's not really great at mile and a halfs. So, I mean, hey, 17th isn't too bad. Well, 18th as I pass him. There's Jamie Mack and... Well, Jamie Mick and uh, Dale Jr., redneck Jesus himself, running in 15th. Not too shabby, but I don't think that's where he finished it. I don't think that's where he finished in 27 at this track in 2017. Man, he didn't do good at, for most of the season. Oh, man, they're getting loose like they need to pit. Or at least, whoa, Dale got some supreme damage. He must have gotten hurt hard in that wreck that I caused. That or something happened on the restart that was causing the screen to lag, and I just didn't really notice it. But he's running okay. So we get ourselves in the 15th. Okay, so uh, this is the moment of truth. Are they going to be able to save enough fuel, or did I supremely fuck up again and not put myself in any better of a position? Because right, I was not wanting this to happen. I was actually trying to go win and win. Oh, man, people are actually running really low. Holy shit. We got people hitting pit lane. That's pretty boss. We might actually win this, as long as Denny Hamlin stays way the fuck behind us. Yeah, we got a bunch of people pitting now. We're in the top ten again, baby. Woohoo! Five to go. Only five to go. We have enough. We definitely have enough. Trying to catch up to Ryan Blaney there in the Wood Brothers car. Come on, boy. And Trevor Bain, man. He, he ran pretty good at Daytona, but I mean, dang, in this game, he actually runs pretty impressively. He's in seventh right now. So, kudos to him. So, okay. Four to go. Diving under Blaney. Trying to catch up with Trevor Bain now as he goes to the inside to chase Elliot. And I'm going to go with him. And then I'm going to make it three wide. Put myself in the sixth. Daniel Suarez in fourth. Matt Kenseth in... Well, in fifth. Daniel Suarez in fifth. Matt Kenseth goes to the pit lane. Oh, man. So it's Paul Menard and Daniel Suarez who I have to pass within three laps. And oh, my God. Caution, of course. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Well, I screwed. I'm screwed. I'm gonna have to take two. Half a can of fuel is gonna have to do. Woo! What? Oh, that is some bullshit. I hate this fucking game's pitting system. Well, we ain't gonna win this. That's pretty damn obvious. Okay, gonna go into David Reagan so I can try to get the bottom. We have two to go. And they all probably took two tires, but that ain't gonna matter much unless I can get an extremely great run here. Like I was getting, and then they all slowed down. Who's got the lead? I'm betting it's Paul Menard. Uh, we're not getting ourselves anywhere. Jimmy Johnson takes the lead. Good job, Jimmy. Finally getting ourselves somewhere, though. Woo! We're going to make it four wide again. Oh, shit. Got into Dale. Woo! 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 Oh, my God. All right, we're back in the top ten. Didn't get to lead a single lap, but we're actually getting back up the field. But it's going to be all for naught because Jimmy Johnson's got the lead and he is going to the checkers. And where the heck did Kevin Harvick go? I haven't seen him all race. But that doesn't matter. We're going to finish in seventh. Whoa! In seventh as I spin out across the line. 
and somehow saved it? I'm gonna have to check that out in the replay. But damn, that was a... Damn. I knew... I probably shouldn't have... If I didn't pit, that would have screwed me. Because they would have had at least two fresher tires. So, I mean, I had to pit. But okay, let's... Uh, see how we did. Well, we, but we know how we did. Alright. Now, I want to see how the fuck I managed to save that. Because I kind of do that intentionally at the end of some races. I, I get myself loose intentionally. How the fuck did I save that? Damn. Getting loose and then all of a sudden you barely save it. But yeah, man. Freaking Jimmy took the lead and he won. I'm going to go to the beginning of that restart. Yeah, Jimmy had the lead. He had the lead the whole time. I thought Paul Bernard would have had it since he was the first person. But, eh, yeah, Jimmy won. Good job, Jimmy. Kyle Larson won a stage, so that's pretty cool. And Denny Hamlin won a stage. Damn, what happened to Joey and Kurt and Kyle and Brad and Newman? Damn, a bunch of front runners were in the, was a lap down. But okay, we're fourth in the standings now. Jimmy's first. And we got a bunch of stage points for those guys. He had the fastest lap. Where the fuck did he finish? I didn't see it. I didn't see him at all. During the whole race, which is surprising. He finished 33rd, along with Truex. They must have got screwed on that last pit stop. But I did not see Kevin Harvick that whole race. <laughs> and I know he's really good at Atlanta, but he wasn't leading the race most of the time. I did not see him at all. But I got on the move because fuck you guys. And Kevin, he started second, but he got screwed. The finishing total. Okay. Yeah, all right, second and seventh, so we got our top five and a top ten so far. And the next race will be Vegas. Vegas, baby. Wait, no, it's Bristol, baby. So, okay. I'll have to check out the paint schemes to make sure which one's the accurate one for that portrayal. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this championship season Let's Play of NASCAR Heat 2. And don't die.